So some recent news for Seattle Seahawks fans. Brian Schottenheimer is out of Seattle after three years with the Seattle Seahawks as being their offensive coordinator. Um, I want to say this has come from kind of a lackluster second half of the season that they had offensively. Um, before we give any opinions on Brian Schottenheimer, I just want to read a quote from uh, Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll said, we're going to figure out what we need to do to get better, just like we, just like we always do. I love my guys. I love the way they worked in there dedication and all they've brought i'm counting on everybody coming back our coaches are getting calls all over the place there's all kind there's all kinds of things going on i don't know what's going to happen so that's basically all Pete carroll said and they said and they talked about how brian schoenheimer was a fantastic person and so really there was no bad blood but uh brian schoenheimer is getting a couple of interviews about uh some head coaching jobs so i believe he was going to be out anyway but uh, your thoughts on Brian Schottenheimer being cut from the Seattle Seahawks? Um, yeah, man. Um, I mean, I don't think he was a bad offensive coordinator. I mean, look at no, what he's done he with him the last two seasons. No, absolutely not. I think he had a bad second half of the year. And yeah, right. Really yeah, right. I mean, he wasn't fired. He just parted ways with them, right? I know there's, I know there's that was, those mean two different things, and depending on the situation. I w- they didn't really say fired, but it said out after three year after three year run. Yeah, so, so it could have so yeah. either been like, yeah, he it could have either been in relation to the four second half where he's just looking for a better job. But um, right. I, I want to yeah, say he's, he's a both. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, even that. But regardless, I, I believe that it wasn't. I because I believe if it was, I believe if it was a one like I want to, I want to leave, I want to be here. The article would have said parted ways. And yeah, NBC right. Sports also said Seahawks fire Brian Schottenheimer. So technically, he was fired. Oh, I mean, yeah, so, he was. He wasn't necessarily a bad coach. I mean, would he would he make good for a defense? Uh, not excuse me, not a defensive coordinator for a head coach. We'll have to see if he actually gets a job like that. I can't tell you that for sure. Well, I will say this: he didn't do a bad job with that, that Seattle Seahawks offense. Aside from um, the second half of this season, it was pretty disappointing, given that they had a monster at start to the season. Russell looked like an MVP turned turned down badly um so i can't really say uh anything uh, anything else too bad about brian schottenheimer i mean his his knowledge does come from his father uh, marty schottenheimer I, I feel bad at that you did not win a super bowl he was such a good he was such a good coach he was such a really good coach so i and you know it's it, it, no surprise that his son brian isn't a bad coach either you know Right, I absolutely agree with you. Brian Schottenheimer was not a bad offensive coordinator by no means. That offense for Seattle has been good for, for those three years that he has been there, besides the second half of that of this season. Um, Brian Schottenheimer, this is his time to prove that he can be a very good head coach. I can I would probably want Brian Schottenheimer to go to a team that has a good defense and not so much of an offense. Like for instance, if the Bears didn't rehire Matt Nagy, perfect place for Brian Schottenheimer to go. We're gonna go to the we're gonna let me go to the Chicago Bears. The defense is already set up there. Now, let me go and rebuild this offense into a juggernaut like I did with Seattle. And then the Bears end up becoming a great playoff team. They could have done that, but they didn't. Absolutely. Brian Schottenheimer, I know there's some openings. I know the Chargers have an opening. I know Jets. Um, the Falcons have an opening. Falcons, the right. Texans. Texans have an opening. Falcons might be a good team. That might be a good team for him because they yeah. have a very – I think the the Falcons defense is very underlooked. I know they give up a lot of like plays. I know they give up a lot of scores and I know all the thing about choking leads, but they do have a decent defense in the beginning of that half. If you can kind of control choking those leads and then Brian Schottenheimer goes onto the offensive driver's seat and just and just turns it into an explosive team because the way Brian Schottenheimer really works is if you looked at Seattle, hard physical runs, deep throws, just exciting plays one after the other. So Falcons offense has the key pieces to 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 run like the Seattle Seahawks offense has been running under him. They have those pieces. Absolutely. So, I mean, only we oh, when the news comes where Brian Schottenheimer goes, we'll let everybody know. And I know he'll be a head coach somewhere in this league. But um, he I don't think he was a bad offensive coordinator. I don't think so either. I just think Seattle. I just think Seattle just made a decision. I mean, I don't agree with the decision personally. I really don't. But Again, it's Seattle. It's their choice. It's Pete Carroll and the GM uh, of the Seattle Seahawks. It's his choice as well. 
And so with that being said, I wish the Seahawks best of luck. I wish Brian Schottenheimer the best of luck in his future coaching career. And I can't wait to see what happens.